everything changes. Osiris has a fidget cube. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to The Cringe, a new experience to allow yourself to cringe every time I upload a video. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 news, the juicy stuff. So let's get to it. First off, if you haven't seen my last video covering the tour of the Lit House, the Infinite Force, and more, click the first link in the description. During that video, I briefly talk about forging weapons. Here is more detail on that topic. In the Lighthouse, there will be this circular formation off to the left. It is full of circles like this. Each circle that looks like this has an Egyptian hieroglyph to it. Some are already there. Each hieroglyph represents a weapon that you can earn. In total, there are 12 different weapons available here. Each weapon is a modded Vex technology, and the hand cannon you see being used now is one of them. You can earn these weapons after the campaign through optional quests. You gather pieces of Vex technology, come back to the lit house, and forge your weapon in this. There you go. But now on to more exciting topics, raid news. During the hour-long Bungie livestream, at the end they talked about the new raid content coming with the Curse of Osiris DLC. They call it a raid layer, spelt L-A-I-R, layer. What the hell is this, a spelling bee? Jesus Christ. Anyway, what Bungie is doing is adding onto the Leviathan. The Leviathan ship is an eater of worlds. This ship has to be pretty massive in order to devour a planet. So there are many undiscovered places that us guardians have never been to on this ship. The raid layer is bringing us to a new location on the ship. We're going below it, possibly where the planets are digested. They said that raid layers are shorter than the main raid, but with just as many puzzles and just as hard. They said you will die a lot countless times. Honestly, I am quite happy with this. Bungie is finally not leaving a raid to rot. This time, they're providing more insight and lore into the topic. They said that during the first raid, we were limited to the palace of the ship, which is located at the top. We will now be going down below to discover new mysteries and get new loot. The raid lair will have a complete new set of armor and weapons that you'll be able to earn. Plus, you'll be able to earn gear from the first raid as well. This here is the new raid menu. To the left is the Curse of Osiris raid lair, in the middle is the first raid we're all familiar with, and the one to the far right is another raid lair coming in the Rasputin DLC this spring. Breaking news, a new exotic. It is a grenade launcher and it looks epic. This grenade launcher is called the Colony and apparently shoots robotic spiders. If you don't get a direct hit with a shell from this weapon, it'll turn into a spider that tracks its target and then explodes. Epic. If you look closely, you can see the spiders. Take a very close look. I zoomed in, but it looks a little distorted, but you can see it quite well. Since I have nothing else to say in this video, I'm just going to give a little recap about everything that's going on and that we know so far about the Curse of Osiris. So an ancient portal on Mercury has opened and Vex from the future and past are coming through. By the way, Vex are time travelers and stuff. You have to go check it out and tune in with Osiris to find out how to stop it. Turns out it won't be so easy. You figure out Osiris is caught in the Infinite Force, which is a gigantic simulation that Vex used to look through realities and pick the best one for them. You find Osiris' ghost Sagira that you bring to Brother Vance, who is the main vendor for Mercury at the Lighthouse, which is the new social space. We'll be able to explore the Infinite Force and apparently, every time you go back, it looks different. I believe you'll also be able to travel to the past, another reality of the present and the dark future, which we don't know anything about. We know about the colony raid lairs and everything else, we know about forging weapons, and that's pretty much it. We also know that we'll use Sagira to find Osiris. There you go, Curse of Osiris in a nutshell. The release of the Curse of Osiris also marks the start of Season 2. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, make sure to check out my last video. Please subscribe and I hope to see you all in the very next video.